Caro, surely the perfect cup game for you this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Um, it'd be nice to see a few familiar faces and to, to get through to the next round. As you mentioned, you know a few of the lads in the Colville camp. What can we expect from them in terms of their mentality and their determination, do you think? No, I think they're a very good team. I mean, they've got a few individual players that are very good and talented boys. Well, respectfully, they shouldn't be really playing at that level. I think a few of them, a number of them that I know, or could, could play a lot higher, um, higher up to be fair so yeah it'd be a good team a good test and that's reflective in their league position and obviously their their passage to this round of the cup you yeah. know they're absolutely not to be underestimated no definitely not like you said they've got a lot of experience i think the striker billy key in there has had a lot of league games and experience in himself so i'm sure he'll be leading the boys over their side so yeah obviously it's a club that you know well just tell us about your experience with colville how you went to play there and you know how you enjoyed your time yeah i mean there was a good uh, club for me to go to at the time. Um, I'd left Leicester and went to Nuneaton and then obviously just moved on to, to Colville and they gave me a good platform to play, get regular games in men's football and then progress to where I am now. So, yeah, thankful. How much do you think that actually helped you? Yeah, massively. I think when you're at a young age, I think I was like 18, 19, I'd left Leicester and then obviously to go and play men's football, it's a different like, culture. Um, but I feel like it's good. It's a good exposure for yourself to just go and play and try and work your way up. We've obviously seen that they're bringing a lot of fans at the weekend. Mm. You'll have experienced the atmosphere yeah. at a Colville <laughs> match. Can you just give us an insight into what that's like? Yeah, they're a lively bunch. They're, they're like a good game, so I'm pretty sure they're looking forward to it just as much as we are. And how much are you looking forward to, to the game as well? Yeah, very much so. Um, they're looking to get as many goals as possible and obviously impress. So, yeah. Season so far for you? Obviously, you've been coming off the bench on numerous occasions and making a huge impact, yeah. but clearly a starting berth is something that you want to forge for yourself. No, no, definitely. I think that's something that I look forward to. To pursue and I mean there's a lot of talent in our squad um, and the boys are doing well in, in my position particularly as well so something you've got to stick with and, and keep consistent and be patient I suppose and just do it as best as you can when you come on. Yeah anybody that watches you especially when you're coming off the bench sees the, the level of intensity that you have in your game the, yeah. the selflessness that you have in your game I just wonder when you see obviously Kedwin Scott Macaulay Langstaff scoring a lot of goals yeah. with their opportunities yeah. does that how does that make you feel when you're not necessarily getting as many minutes as they are at the minute? Uh, for myself, I feel like all I can do is worry about myself, really, um, in, that, in terms of that kind of thing. Well, when I come on the pitch, what can I do to affect the team and help the team do as well as possible? Um, all that other stuff, it's, it's good for the team if they're doing well. It works in our favour. Luke Williams, from everything that I've, I've heard, is a fantastic man manager. How much are you enjoying working with him? No, definitely. He's, like I'd say, probably the best manager that I've had to date, 100%. Um, just like I said to you, I think I said to you before in pre-season as well about the detail and that's obviously something that's remained throughout. Um, it's just different, more it's more intense as well and he demands a lot from the boys and the boys are rising to it very well and I think that's showing in the position that we're in in the league. When you come down here and you look around the environment that you're in, the sun shining today, which always helps, but <laughs> fantastic training facilities, we're getting yeah. huge crowds, we're top of the league. How much are you still enjoying being part of this club? No, definitely. It's a, it's a massive part of my, my career and my life. Obviously, I enjoy it, every moment of it. And I think everyone should as well, because obviously you can't take things for granted.